a family drama fit for Downton, close friend of the Queen is unlikely to ever see Her Majesty again after suffering a heart attack in the States which prohibits her from flying back to High Clear Castle where the TV series is filmed. The Earl of Carnarvon, whose family seat, High Clear Castle, is where Downton Abbey was filmed, is caught up in a real-life family drama. His mother, Jean, whose husband Porky had a close relationship with the Queen, is seriously ill after suffering a heart attack. However, she cannot return to High Clear, in Hampshire, from her Native America because her medical insurance prohibits her from flying. She's not allowed to travel because her heart's not great. Her second son Harry Herbert, a racing manager, tells me, you can't insure her. Sadly, it means Jean is never likely to be reunited with her close friend the Queen, who no longer undertakes long-haul travel. It was with Jean, in Highclere's relatively modest dower house, that the Queen spent the weekend before her 90th birthday celebrations. Jean also accompanied her to the Chelsea Flower Show and Windsor Horse Show in 2016. Harry must travel to Wyoming to see his mother and is taking his new girlfriend, Irish chef Clodagh McKenna. Speaking at a party in Piccadilly, he says, It's awful. She went from fit as a fiddle, the most beautiful woman you have ever seen, three years ago, to a wreck. Born Jean Wallop, the Dowager Countess is now 83. Her husband, Porky became close to the Queen when he was her racing manager. His sudden death aged 77 in 2001 was a shattering blow to the monarch. It came on the same day as the September 11th terrorist attack on New York's World Trade Center and many saw a personal touch in the emotional message she sent to be read at a service of remembrance. Nothing that can be said can begin to take away the anguish and the pain of these moments. She wrote, Grief is the price we pay for love. Marriage? Don't ask Knowles tells Harry. Former building site laborer Nick Knowles has become an unlikely friend of Princes William and Harry, even persuading the Duke of Cambridge to appear in a special edition of his BBC show DIY SOS, to rebuild a boxing club destroyed in the Grenfell Tower fire. I used to live down the road from Harry, Knowles tells me. But it's not like he popped in for a cup of sugar every five minutes. The 55-year-old presenter also worked on a two-part documentary in aid of the Young Royals charity Heads Together, which followed ten mental health sufferers who came together to run the London Marathon. Knowles's estranged wife, Jessica Moore, claimed earlier this year that he had abandoned her in Spain to have a string of girlfriends. He admits Harry may not seek his counsel on how to keep Meghan happy. I wouldn't give him any marital advice, he says. I'm not even going to expand on that. Alleged sex attacker Harvey Weinstein has to plug himself into a wall socket for several hours each day to charge the rally alert taxi ankle tag he was ordered to wear by a court. Bail bondsman Ira Judelson, who bolted the bulky half-pound GPS device around the U.S. film mogul's ankle, says. He can sit on the couch and watch a movie. When interfered with, the device emits a loud siren sound. If only Weinstein's actress accusers had been wearing one when they sat on his couch. Grandpa Mick's little rocker Ray. Sir Mick Jagger's grandson Ray, who turns four this month, is clearly hankering to be center stage. The singer's jewelry designer daughter Jade Jagger, 46, took Ray, whose father is graphic designer Adrian Filleri with her to watch the Rolling Stones perform at London Stadium. Clutching onto her cherubic toddler's hand, she remarked, keeping Ray off stage is always going to be a problem. The woman in white star Do Grey Scott admits playing the mustached whirling villain in the BBC drama did not make for an easy life at home with his wife of 11 years, actress Claire Forlani. I had to put on 25 pounds for the role, Scott, 52 tells me. Then I lost 21 pounds in three months for TV series, Snatch. It's not easy. He adds Forlani has learned to adapt to his fluctuating weight. She understands why my body has to change, but it's not like we sit and talk about it. Once a key member of the Primrose Hill set, which became a byword for 90s hedonism, Sadie Frost has led a very colorful life. The 52-year-old former wife of film star Jude Law tells me that she has, however, turned to fiction for her literary endeavors. I've written a novel, The Mother of Four revealed at the West End play Blueberry Toast, 
at London's Soho Theatre. It's a psychological thriller called Blackout. I'm talking to publishers. Mary's girl is soggy chic. Queen of Shops Mary Portis was devastated when forced to turn down a place at the Royal Academy of Dramatic Art to care for her brother after the death of their parents. So the presenter, 58, was thrilled when her daughter graduated from Oxford this week. Verity, 22, celebrated by covering herself in foam. Portis is now married to journalist Melanie Rickey, 44, 